Um, okay, so it's a little bit late tonight, but it's not quite midnight, so the puppies are still technically one week old today. Uh, it's been a long day. All my days seem to be long these days. Um, so there's five pups over there because I have one pup in my hand, and I figure I'll just um, take some video of each one of them separately, uh, get some names tied to them so as the videos, as I video, um, in the future, you'll know who's who. And if you have questions, you can ask about that particular pup by name. So, um, well, so let's get started. So right now, these guys don't look like a whole lot of, um, you know, they, they, their eyes aren't open and their ears um, are closed. So they can't hear us yet. Uh, they can't see us yet, um, but in the next, this, these guys are a week old today, I'm going to say within the next 10 days, week to 10 days, their eyes will open, and you'll start to see that they become, they start to act like little puppies. Um, so there's a wide variety of colors in all of the pups that we have today. The Havanese comes in every color under the sun. Um, you name it and it, it comes in that color. So um, black, blue, which you probably won't ever see blue. It's a rarity. Um, people don't actually breed for blue. Um, I don't know why. I've seen one blue in my life. Um, blue puppies, silver puppies are always born black. Uh, and then they turn silver or blue later. This pup here, um, uh, we're going to do Phoebe 6 first. This is a male. His name is Roman. And Roman, um, his color, we're going to call his color Champagne. Now, Champagne looks a lot like um, apricot or honey, um, sometimes off-white, depending. It's hard to tell on camera. You, they look different when you see them in person. But um, we're going to call him, and he's got a look-alike brother that's a little larger than him. His brother's name is Rocky. Rocky's also champagne. You'll see him later. Um, but you really hardly can tell them apart. I'm, if, he, if he grows anymore, I'm going to have to put a collar on him just, so, uh, and just until I can get them memorized. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference in color. Um, with Roman, um, I will say this, I believe that um, Phoebe's pups should be black pigmented, um, I'm going to flip him around, he is out, it's 11.30 at night, um, you can see he's got some white on the back of his head, and he's got a little bit of a white... Um, let me see if I turn the light off if it makes it any different. Uh-oh, sorry, I didn't mean to poke you. You can see a little bit of a white mark on his forehead. Um, I wanted to get a picture of his, his pigment. His pigment is just starting to come in. And if you look, he does have black pigment. Now, um, Phoebe... She does carry a chocolate gene, but when she is bred to uh, Sam, who we bred her to this time, the two of them together cannot produce chocolate. I shouldn't say it like that because with my luck, one of these pups will turn chocolate and it'll seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, Sam doesn't carry a chocolate gene and in order to make chocolate, both, part, both parents have to have a chocolate a recessive gene at least so um, this is Roman and um, <laughs> he is just starting to get around a little bit and over the next week I think you'll see that the pups are starting to get around a, a lot easier a lot more they'll be climbing over each other and they should start to play uh -oh, um, within the next week so I'm going to pause and get the next pup 
This pup is also a male. Um, he is a Red Sable Party. We decided that we were going to name him Red. Um, hold on for a minute. Um, he is not happy. He's one, I just took him off of his mama and he wants to get back to her and get something to eat. So he's going to carry on, I'm sure. But um, he's a Red Party. Uh, he's got really nice markings. He has his dad's... Well, he doesn't have a black tip tail. I was thinking he had a black tip tail. Um, he's got black pigment. Like I said, all six of these pups are going to have black pigment. Um, every day that we see them, all that pink is going to turn black. Um, or we'll get hair on it. Um, He's um, maybe the smallest in this litter. Let me just look real quick. Um, not that he's small by any means. He is 10 ounces. Everybody else is around 12 ounces. But he's, he's a good size. Um, he's probably going to be in that 11 pound range. Full grown. That's my guess. I am never good at guessing sizes. But he's going to be your average size having these. He's not going to be too large. He's not going to be tiny. I don't breed for tiny. Um, and I'm going to put him back <laughs> while, while he melts down. So, look, so his, his siblings are eating. And he's like, okay, I'm missing my meal. So this is Risa. She's also going to melt down as soon as she realizes she's no longer eating. She does have her father's black tip tail. Looks like somebody dipped it in ink. She's a red sable. She's got a, um, a white mark, like a lightning mark on the back of her neck. And she also has a nice white blaze coming down her, her nose. And she's got four white feet. Um, and I think she's got white under her chest. I'm going to pick her up and lift her up in a minute. Her name is Risa, R-H-E-S-A. Um, now that's just her litter name. This is the R litter. And um, you guys, and when you pick your pups, you can have your own name. You'll tell me your name, and we'll change. We'll start calling her by the name that you've picked. Um, she's got white underneath. Um, and like I said, four white feet. I'm surprised she's not giving me a hard time. Uh-oh. Let me see. She's got black pigment. Uh-oh. You'll see a difference in the pigment when we start going over Jesse's pups. Um, but yeah, so she's one of my red pups. Very attractive. Look at her. I'm wondering if their eyes are going to open early. It's almost like they can see already. So the first pup that we pulled out was Roman. This is Rocky. And um, Roman and Rocky look just alike. They're just two different sizes. Um, um, and Rocky has a white blaze down his nose. Um, they're the same color. They are champagne. Rocky is about an ounce bigger than his brother. Um, <laughs> I think he's going to go to sleep. I think he's asleep. I, okay, let me just, we just want to see your face, little man. And I, next time I shoot a video of these guys when their eyes are open, you'll see a huge difference. Look, he's not going to let me look at his face because he wants to. Now, I'll be doggone. His nose looks chocolate. Well, that can't be. No, I can't see. Yeah, I'm gonna call that black. Um, we'll know when his color really does set in. That that looks black from here. And he has quite a latch. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go back down so you can get something to eat. You can see his eyelashes. The eyelashes are coming in. So a lot of my dogs that are uh, champagne in color, uh, these guys actually though, these guys will have dark nose, dark eye rims. Um, 
whereas Jesse's pups may have chocolate nose, chocolate eye rims, green eyes. These guys will have brown eyes or dark, dark, dark brown eyes. Um, can I have my finger back? <laughs> okay, I can't get my finger back. <laughs> Okay, so this is Rue, R-U-E, um, and in case y'all don't know, for those of you who are new to the list, we have been naming our pups alphabetically, biblically, um, since 2010. And so, uh, any word or name that's found in the Bible, we try to pick it, or we try to, um, we try to change their, um, their names every time like I try not to use the same the same names for the letters and that's kind of hard to do this is our second time through the alphabet so this is our second R letter uh, I don't think we duplicated any names this time but I'll have to go back and check um, we named her Rue because if you've seen the Hunger Games <laughs> You know, Rue was that cute little girl, and she is the smallest female in this litter. Um, she is a red um, sable. She's got four white paws, tips, and she's got <laughs> she's got some points. Points are um, like what you see over her eyebrows, her little the little tan marks. And um, the little, she's moving a lot, but the little, um, let me see if I can get it. The shading that you see on her legs, that's a little bit lighter. Those are called points. The black tipping is what tells us that she is a sable. Okay, baby. All right, let me turn you around. Let's just look at the other side. She's medium tipped. She's got a lot of tipping in her, black, in her back. If you see that, all of that tipping is going to disappear. Sometimes dogs are so heavily tipped that they look like they're black. And I actually have a dog on my white on my website that looks black, but by the time he's a year old, oh my goodness! All right, by the time he's a year old, he actually has lost all of his tipping and he becomes completely red. That might happen to her. She's got a lot of tipping. And so when she loses all that black tipping, the color that's underneath is the color she'll become. And that should be red. So I'm going to put her back with her mom. We have one more. Um, okay, so this little girl, we just decided that we were going to name her Rose. She is a red piebald. Um... Piebald, or there's a lot of names. She's a party. So party means that they're 50% uh, or more white. Um, our earlier dog um, that we named Red, he was also a party. Um, heavier marked, but um, his body was, he's right there actually. 50% um, of his body is white. And then he's got some red on him. So he is actually a red party. Now, if he was black and white, he'd be a black party um, or a chocolate party, depending upon what the uh, colored patches are. In this case, she's red. So she's a red party. Now, the reason that she is considered a piebald, which, or another term is severe party or extreme party, is because she's severely white, and I don't like that. It sounds negative. Um, her body is mostly white, um, and uh, so they they just call that um, a, a severe party. Uh, Phoebe, stop, stop, okay. Um, and so in her case, she's got a lot of white. She's very attractive. I've had pups that were born completely white. And in a day or two after they're born, you start to see the patches come in later. Um, she may have some patches under her fur. I can't really tell. But she's nicely marked. 
Um, I'm going to turn her around and see if she doesn't get ticked off at me. Um, and then I'll try to get a good look at her face. But um, <laughs> So if you look at her face, she almost looks like she has a blaze, but half of her face is red. The other half... <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Rose. No, she's not going to let me get it. Um, let me see. The other, oh boy. The other part of her face. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that her eyes are opening. That shouldn't be. Let me look. I don't want to shine the light in there if that's... Because she's a one week old. But they certainly are. Um, let me move this back some. I'm going to turn the light off. Um, oh, she's just doing barrel rolls all over the place. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm going to turn the light off because if her eyes are opening, I don't want to shine the light in there. I've not had a puppy open their eyes at seven, seven days old. Well, she'll be eight days tomorrow, so I guess it could happen. Because I've had puppies open their eyes at, at 11 days, so that's three days away, actually. Um, anyway, her name is Rose. She's a piebald party. Um, very attractive. Um, <laughs> and um, she doesn't want me to take a picture of her face. So, let's get a look at the whole litter with their mom, and then I'll move on to uh, Jessie's litter. I said I am terrible at photography but this is uh, Phoebe's babies um, she's got I don't know where everybody's going she's got two champagnes she's got two um, red sables and she's got two parties and actually he's he is a party, but he could also be a pied. A pied is where their body is a little bit less than, it, their body is less than 50% white. Um, and he's right on the borderline. I think these guys are ready for bed. So anyway, this is the R litter. If you have any questions about it, feel free to text me.